Okay, so I'm here at the Makera booth, and we're now in front of a new item that's coming out soon. This is an unveiling here, and I have a Jason here from Makera who's going to tell us a little bit about what we have right in front of us. Jason? Thank you. Yeah, so this is the Carvera Air, which is our new unit. It's the younger sibling to the existing unit called the Carvera. They're both desktop CNC's that can work with a wide range of materials from woods to carbon fiber. Even this one can handle aluminum and some metals. Unlike the Carvera, the precision's a little bit lower, but it's still very, very, very aggressive precision and excellent quality for our entry level enthusiasts, DIYers and schools. This can also do fourth axis machining like the Carvera, and it also has the same type of calibration and probing features, which makes it a very user-friendly and versatile machine. And you can do laser engraving as well, though the laser engraver is an attachment for this, so it's an accessory that you can equip this with rather than it being permanently built in. Um, we're super excited to be launching this because we know that a wide range of our users are just coming to CNC for the first time. Maybe they're entering from the 3D printing space. I personally work with all of our schools, so I'm excited to be launching a smaller, more affordable unit that still offers the same wide range of versatility and flexibility that our existing unit can do. So when it comes out, I mean, eventually, uh, I think you may have mentioned this, it, it's coming to Kickstarter. It's gonna be somewhere between $1,000 and $2,000. And then it, eventually for retail, we are seeing it ending up at a below a sub $2,000 machine, right? Yeah. So for this machine to be able to price it so competitively, we have made the accessories optional. So for example, the starting CNC, which would come with the same type of toolkit we already provide, would be a sub $2,000 machine. And then if you wanted to say, for example, add the rotary module and then the laser engraver, that those accessories that you can equip, which might take you slightly above that. But the goal is to offer this for about half of what we currently offer the existing Carvera for, to again, create a really competitive and still extremely versatile desktop CNC. And, you know, other things that you need to know about this machine, and I really don't think that this um, basically uh, raises the barrier of entry at all for, for students is the fact that here's the tool uh, changer right over here. And what they're going to do is in their software, they're going to instruct you. They're going to tell you, hey, your part needs to be changed. This is the bit that you're going to need to change. And then you're going to change it just with this lever right over here. And then basically you're gonna change it and it's gonna say, okay, now resume. And so it's just gonna have that extra manual part of it. But honestly, that's really easy to do. In fact, I actually find this easier than loading up filament on a 3D printer. So that's actually quite cool. Um, yes. And I know that you you also saw the wireless probe, which is how we get our Z height and our auto leveling. This is a big feature of why the Carvera is so accurate. So if you put in warp material or anything like that, the Carvera will automatically compensate. We didn't want to lose this feature, even though we lost the tool changer. So the Carvera Air has the same probe. It's just not wireless. So if you want, you can hold this and I'll show you how to do this here. Okay. Um, you would unload the tool and then attached to the head is the probe already plugged in. And then that would load like a bit it would do the auto leveling, it would do all the calibration, it would do the laser pointing to actually check to make sure the part's in the right spot. And then like you said, you would then continue to tool number one. This is fantastic. And look, I mean, you have the safety screen. Can we lower this right now and see what that looks like? Look at that. That's beautiful. This also, this color changes. So if there's a, an error or something, this will change color based on what's happening. Oh yeah? While it's machining, this will be the loading bar. So this will actually increase blue as it's machining like a progress bar for your part. Very cool. And what is the build size, the working area? Yeah, we're adjusting this, but it's going to be approximately 10 inches by eight inches by four inches or so. And how does that differ than the Carvera, the, the, the main edition? Yep, it's about two inches, one and a half inches smaller all the way around. Even though the box and the, the actual footprint of this machine is much smaller, the work volume is very close. And the reason being we're able to remove the vacuum, the tool changer, giving you almost the same build volume in a much smaller enclosure. Right. 
And you mentioned to me the other day when we were talking about how there's going to be a big push for the education space and really making the barrier of entry really low for kids to get into this. When do you think we're going to start seeing this software hitting the market that will really kind of take that Tinkercad capability straight to CNC? Yeah, that's a great question. So our CAM software has been in development for about a year. Um, currently it's in beta. So we have some public users that are in beta testing and we're starting to roll that out over the next couple of months. So that's roughly February of 2024. But the goal is for next school year. So the coming school year of 2025 or no, yeah, 2024, 2025, uh, we will have not only this machine ready for sale, we'll have our software in full production, as well as all of our training and our content to support the teachers and the students when they get hands-on with both products. So I gotta tell you, I'm really excited about this. Um, it's gonna be in my lab, I can tell you that right now. I'm just trying to decide, do I wanna wait and get this guy? Or am I going to spoil myself and get the uh, Carvera that's out now. I don't know, it might be that one, but I'll tell you the price point is amazing. And in fact, I don't think there's anything in the industry that brings you metal CNC milling at that price point with that ease of use, with all the tools and capabilities. Um, are you, aware? I know this is kind of biased, but are you aware of anything in that uh, price range? No, we are the only desktop company that will provide high quality and extreme versatility. There are mills out there that only do one thing, like just metal, just wood, just PCBs. But if you're the school, the makerspace, the enthusiast, and you want to encompass everything that's truly possible with subtractive manufacturing, we really stand out as an innovative brand. Anyway, another amazing thing here from CES 2024, be on the lookout in March uh, for this Kickstarter. Um, it's it's at that price point, I don't know, I'm really excited. I, I, I kind of hope it's gonna be at 1250, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, but uh, be on the lookout because that's gonna be a steal. Thanks for watching.